In this video, we're going to take a look at how to receive purchase orders in Microsoft Excel using the Soligo Smart Client. Here in NetSuite, we have a purchase order and we have two line items here. And what we can do is click on the Receive button. And here in the item receipt, we can specify the bin numbers. If we click on this inventory detail, we can just assign the bin number here and enter the quantity. And do that for the other item as well. Now instead of saving this here, what we're going to do is receive this in Microsoft Excel using this Lego Smart Client. Now first thing we need to check is our result template and we can edit our item receipt template. Let's go next here. Now here we can select the fields that we want to appear in the item receipt template. First is we have this transaction ID to show us the transaction number of the item receipt. And we have the created from, which is the purchase order that we're receiving. We go next. This is the sublist section where we select the item list and we have the order line here. So these are just the lines of the order and we have the items themselves and the location. And then we have this item receive, which tells us to receive that specific line. And once you're happy with your template, next thing we need to do is configure the inventory detail for the bid numbers. You click on options here, go to advanced user settings. We need to enable the support advanced bin numbered inventory management and edit the template. This is where you specify the bin number and the quantity for the inventory detail. So once you're done with that, click on add records to load the template. Just click on the item receipt to load the whole template. So this is our template. The first column is the internal ID that's going to be generated by NetSuite automatically as well as the transaction ID. So here we need to specify the purchase order. If we go back to NetSuite, this is purchase order 1281. So look for that in the list. 1281 and 1281 since we need two lines. Enter the line one and two. And the order line is also one and two. And expand this. And the item is this one right here and this one and just specify the location there and for item receive we're just going to say true since we're receiving both lines quantity of one each and the bin numbers if we go back here inventory detail we can see 1001 so that's 1001 and this one's 1002 and that's it at this point just click on update all and this will create the item receipt for this purchase order now if we go back to NetSuite let's click on purchase order we can see that the purchase order has now been received and if we look at related records we can see the item receipt here and here's the item receipt and you can see that the inventory detail has now been assigned 1001 and this one is 1002. 